What's going on guys? Mickle here and I have something critical to share with you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys something that I believe cannot be a coincidence. I'm going to show you why I believe the SEC and Ripple have already come to determination that XRP itself fundamentally will not be declared of security. This is absolutely crucial for XRP holders because for those of you who don't know, this Ripple versus SEC case is really broken up into two distinct different issues. One, whether or not the sales of XRP by Ripple constitute as security sales. And the second one, which is critical to XRP holders, is whether or not XRP is fundamentally a security of Ripple. Guys, I'm gonna be showing you evidence in this video that I do not believe is a coincidence. I'm gonna be showing you why I believe it is obvious that based on Ripple and the SEC's actions right now, XRP is not going to be declared a security. This is the biggest issue for us XRP holders right now, because if XRP is declared not a security, it will be relisted on exchanges and we will get the price appreciation we have all been waiting for. Guys, the making these videos is so much fun for me and it means so much if you guys could like and subscribe. It lets me know that you guys enjoy the content and really helps this channel grow going forward. With that said, guys, let's jump right into it and I hope you enjoy the content. So guys, you are definitely gonna wanna stick around for this whole video. I actually have something super interesting to show you at the end regarding a secret meeting by the SEC in which they were going to talk about settling certain procedures. You guys are definitely gonna wanna see that, but I wanna start off right here and explain to you guys why it is very likely Ripple and the SEC have already come to determination that XRP will not be declared a security of Ripple. We know fundamentally that XRP simply does not meet the determination of what a security is. Back in the Howey test that was ruled by the SEC decades ago, the SEC made a determination that a company could sell oranges and the sale of those oranges could be considered a security sale, but the oranges themselves can never be a security. And that's because no matter what happens to the company that sold you the oranges, the oranges themselves will always have inherent utility outside of the company that sold you the oranges. And we have the same thing with XRP. So the other day, I bought XRP to set up a trust line to buy another token. I was not buying that XRP for any reason regarding Ripple. I was simply buying the XRP because it was necessary for me to perform a task because the XRP had inherent utility built into it. This alone should be fundamental proof that the fact that the SEC is trying to argue that XRP has no utility is completely bogus. But the crazy thing is, is they know this argument is bogus and the reason why they are trying to argue it is simply because they know saying that XRP had no utility was your only chance to create a distinction between XRP and Ethereum. Right here, I was answering a tweet and I say, the SEC knows that it declared ETH a non-security. They are simply lying because it hurts them in the Ripple case. They know if ETH is not a security, there is virtually no valid explanation on why XRP should be. This is also why they desperately tried to say XRP had no utility in the beginning of the case. The SEC attempted to create a distinction between ETH and XRP so they could argue a fundamental difference on why one is a security and one is not. The crazy thing is, is this failed miserably by the SEC. Right here, we have the court document of the SEC actually trying to make the claim that XRP doesn't have any utility, despite the fact that they actually run a validator on the XRP ledger. They fundamentally contribute to the utility of the XRP ledger, and then when it comes down to a court case with Ripple, they suddenly no longer thinks it has any utility. It's absurd. Right here, we say, we see, we dispute whether that utility actually exists, your honor. And the reason why the SEC, like I said, is trying to do this is because they know their case is sunk if it is proven that XRP does have utility because based on their own securities laws in the Howey test, 
that is proof that XRP is not a security. Well, we keep mo moving and it gets even funnier. The court actually completely clowns them on this argument and makes a clear assertion that the court who just started studying Ripple and XRP realized there was utility in just a couple months of looking at the asset. This is something the SEC claims they couldn't figure out after years and years of studying this asset and actually running validators on the XRP ledger. It shows that they are blatantly lying and simply doing it because they are desperate to win this case. We can see the court says, my understanding of XRP is that not only does it have a sort of currency value, but it also has utility and that utility distinguishes it, distinguishes it I think, from Bitcoin and Ethereum. This right here blew up the SEC's case. It showed that the court instantaneously understood that their argument that XRP had no utility and therefore was a security was complete BS. She called the SEC out right to their face right here, and I tweeted out, it's kind of remarkable that the SEC tried to continue fighting this case after this. The judge clowned their entire case in one sentence, and that's exactly what happened. The judge saying this was literally her going to the SEC and her saying the statement you made that XRP had no utility was absurd and is not a valid excuse on why XRP should be considered a security because the utility XRP brings, it's obvious. And why was the court so easily able to see this? Well, take a look. Look at all the businesses, all the partners who are working with the XRP ledger. The utility is obvious to anyone who takes some time to look. The SEC was hoping they could lie to the court and blatantly try to convince the court and the court wouldn't look for themselves and say, oh, believe us, XRP doesn't have utility. No one's using it, therefore it's a security. But realistically, all it took was just a tiny bit of research to notice that XRP has just as much, if not more utility than both Bitcoin and Ethereum in which the SEC claims are utility tokens and not inherently securities. Right here, we are pointing out the fact that the, the SEC made the argument that XRP had no t utility out of desperation. They were simply saying it because they were hoping the court would blindly believe them rather doing its own research. And the next very important thing we need to start analyzing is when this was said, because that will help us make the determination on whether or not the SEC and Ripple, or the SEC in this case, has already realized that fighting this is a lost cause. The second they brought it up to the court, the court shut them down. The court was like, dude, what do you mean it has no utility? How could it not have utility if it does more than Bitcoin and Ethereum and you claim those have utility? The SEC knew right here that it was fighting a lost cause on this battle. The judge said it right to their face. This coin has utility and based on your own analysis of the Howey test, this means it's not a security. So this happened and this determination by the court was actually made on March 20th. Uh, 2021. So what happened at this same exact time that could show us that suddenly there was a flip in the tide on how the market, how Ripple and how regulators would see XRP going forward? Well, that brings me back to this graph I put together that goes over Ripple's total sales of XRP. We can see that as this court case was filed, Ripple sales of XRP plummeted because they likely knew that the SEC was going to try to make the assertion that XRP fundamentally was a security. We can see this keeps going down and down and down and actually almost goes to zero XRP being sold, but there was a clear inflection point. This inflection point so happened to occur at the same exact time that the judge clowned the fact that the SEC was trying to say XRP inherently was a security. The second the judge said this, in the same time between the two quarters, we saw a distinct inflection in which 
Ripple once again began resuming and accelerating their sales of XRP. This is because at this exact moment, Ripple knew that the judge would never rule XRP was a security because at that moment, she understood. She understood the SEC was simply saying this out of desperation. She understood XRP has utility and she understands that the SEC knows XRP has utility and the SEC knows that any asset with utility cannot fundamentally be a security. It's not how securities laws work based on the rules set out by their own agency. So what happens? Ripple knows they can start selling XRP again. So they start resuming sales and begin ramping it up extremely heavily. They begin selling XRP, more XRP than they have ever sold before. And this is likely because Ripple and the SEC have been talking about settlement options this entire time. Settlement talk is not going to happen all at once, and they're going to figure out all these issues at one time. But it is very likely that there's already been parts of this settlement pieced out during the last couple months. Based on this chart and Ripple instantly regaming the confidence to start selling XRP, I think it is very clear that the SEC will not attempt to say that XRP is a security. And we know Ripple simply just doesn't care what the SEC thinks because they would have never slowed down. They would have just kept on selling and said, SEC, we don't care. This drop shows fear and inflection shows a change in attitude. And I believe that change in attitude has to do with the fact that the judge literally told the SEC to their face, give up, this makes no sense. Guys, the next thing and the last thing I wanna show you is actually super interesting and this was brought to us by uh wheezy so wheezy points out and this is from another account he said this is a lot but it's huge just recently posted on the sec's website a closed door meeting on february 3rd scroll through the picture to see why it is closed door links at the bottom read everything so in this meeting it talks about stuff such as resolving cases um, disclose information, pretty much a couple things that could be related to a settlement. While that's interesting in itself, the more interesting part was actually immediately after posting this, this guy who sent out the tweet got banned from Twitter. So what is this current meeting by the SEC talking about a final settlement to the Ripple case? We may never know for sure, but it is clear that they, based on these uh, notes right here, that they are talking about a settlement and they clearly didn't like this information getting out to the public. I think it's only a matter of time before this case is settled. The SEC clearly doesn't want the Ethereum documents getting out there and they'll likely settle the case beforehand because they'll see the fate is written on the wall. They know XRP is not a security. We know XRP is not a security. This fight is on Ripple sales and that does not involve us one bit. Ripple will get a slap on the wrist. We'll be fine. Guys, thank you so much for coming. If you're still here, make sure to like and subscribe. It does so much to help me grow this channel. With that said though, I hope you enjoyed the update and for now, Mickle out. <laughs>